Welcome back to another episode here on the Eternal Sith Network, where you get all your Star Wars news. Today we're going to be talking about Andor and how it relates to another show and the similarities they have. But before we do start that, remember, hit that subscribe button as we're almost at 3,000. Smash that like button so we get this video trending and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. And once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one and give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. In spite of their many differences and different time periods, Andor and the Mandalorian share a deep connection. The three-part premiere of Andor delved into a pretty previously unknown aspect of Cassian's life by using flashbacks to explore his childhood. Apparently, he grew up as a boy separated from his people by tragedy, which we did get to see that. A crash ship on his home planet led to his people seemingly getting wiped out with Cassian being rescued. Din Djarin began his Star Wars journey when the Mandalorian saved him from a massacre that devastated his homeland. For the Mandalorian, his roots are crucial to his entire story in the Star Wars franchise. In a way, it's what drives him. Having no one and then being taken in by the Mandalorians is a core element of his character. The Mandalorians became his family, which has a lot to do with why of his following of the way of the Mandalore is so important to him in the series. Where he came from perfectly explains why Mando cares so much about being a part of the clan. Now with Cassian, the significance of his backstory is a bit less clear than the situation with the Mandalorian, considering that Star Wars is the only three episodes into his Disney Plus series. That being said though, it's become apparent that it'll be a huge factor going forward. Cassian has a new life now, but it's obvious that he hasn't let go of his past just yet, which is ultimately what set the show's story in motion in the first place. Making an inquiry into his long lost sister from Canari is what got him into the mess he found himself in in Andor episode one. And since the matter has yet to be resolved, it's likely that finding out what happened to his sister will be one of his main goals in the Andor series. Now, comment down below what you think about this and how the Andor series and the Mandalorian have similarities and if you noticed any other ones as well. So I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and theories as well with this story. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hit the subscribe button as we're almost at 3,000. Smash that like button so we get this video trending and hit the notification bell so you're always in the know as I have another video out on Star Wars tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in today and remember the Eternal Sith, then, now, forever. Later guys. <laughs>